Hello everybody, in this video I have a haul from the Organised Hedgehog of the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Country Christmas Collection. Some of you who have seen my Christmas craft stash will know I really, really don't need anything more to add to said Christmas craft stash, but when Simple Stories do vintage things, I just can't resist because I love them so much, so I just had to get this one collection and I'm limiting myself to that. There's another Simple Stories one this year which I would also quite like, but I'm just sticking to this one. So let's jump in. First up is the 12 by 12 collection kit, which has the mix of the papers, the cutter parts, and the 12 by 12 by 12 by 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheets. First paper is called Winter Wishes. I absolutely love this. Uh, wood grain in the background, like a barn or something going on here with wreaths and trees and all the like stamping and stuff in the background and then oh the b-side is also lovely i love love that color and all the stuff going on up the sides the stamping and the holly leaves beautiful this one is called wonderful life and you've got the classic red sort of gingham print and then oh this is beautiful i love this so much so there's like a mix of uh, christmas music papers and then like sort of like little vintage receipts and thingy thingamajigs like that then you've got like robins vintage looking santa pine cones trees just oh i love it this one is holiday greetings you've got beautiful poinsettia on one side that has a slight distressed effect to it and then a green polka dot on that side which it's fine for like backing photos and stuff but i wouldn't probably do a layout on it but I do love that this one is lovely it's called Christmas magic background is like music paper and stuff and then obviously you've got the beautiful holly wreath the layout kind of makes itself doesn't it with the wreath you know plonk a picture in the middle or on the side of the wreath add a few embellishments job done and then there is a red and white gingham on the other side this one is called joyous noel another sort of distressed background with like snow and snowflakes then you've got the the reindeer and then you've got like father christmas slash saint nick slash all the itinerations of father christmas around the world like different versions and stuff like that's so that's the sort of classic more like the sort of classic papa noel sort of image and stuff i really really like that and the other side is also very pretty blue wood grain with a tree and reindeer and tiny little sleigh print as well this one is called good cheer is a green holly print and the other side oh i really really like this so uh, the background print is just like various Christmas foliage, mistletoe and pine cones and stuff. And then you've got, I have no idea what that bird is. That is, cause that is not a robin, but <laughs> you've got just like the little cluster here of, again, the Christmas foliage, doily, believe in the magic and unknown bird. This one is called Glad Tidings. Again, beautiful distressed background with like stamp effects and prints and stuff. Poinsettia on one side, holly down here, red writing up the side. And then this one has like the uh, very vintage sort of advertising kind of font, which is just covered in all sorts of winter wonderland, Merry Christmas, holly jolly, season's greetings, all that sort of thing on a very subtle red wood grain. And I think this is the last of the sort of full papers. This one is called Oh Christmas Tree. Beautiful blue distress, snowy background, printing up the sides and the trees down the bottom here. I love that. And then another red and white pattern on the back. So this is the two by two elements. Fairly obvious what this one is because you've got all the two by two numbers and then where you've got extra space, you've got joy, Santa Claus, peace, oh how you night, stuff like that. B side is green wood grain with a tree print. Three by four elements here, really classic vintagey Christmas. I just love it. Uh, season's greetings, peace on earth. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Some of them, obviously Simple Stories is, um, you know, based in the USA. So they're going to use very USA type of phrases. So like in the UK, we don't really say things like happy holidays or holiday cheer, but I'm sure I can use them for something else. Or just use the other side, which has a cute little bird, which looks kind of like a J, I think. 
Um, and then there's like music print and stuff and bits of pine tree or whatever on there. Four by four elements here. Again, the same beautiful vintage effect here. I love this one with the holly wreath and a Merry Christmas. And this one that has just all the little bits and pieces, just like in the sort of way I would cluster it in my own junk journal. I want this one as well, which has the same kind of thing here that on that um, very first paper. And then the B side is a holly pattern. Last paper is the 4x6 elements here. I really like this very vintage Santa with his sack there. That is brilliant. And this one with the peace and joy and the deer and the trees. Very much my thing. And a red polka dot on the back. Then you have the 12x12 cardstock stickers. I love these really big words here that are in like the wood grain effect believe and peace you've got your 25 little vintage-esque tickets here lots of lovely little bits and bobs tags phrases you've got like a bingo card sort of thing here so just it's all just the kind of thing i really really love and then i got myself the snap pack which is 48 pieces i will try and go through this fairly if i can open it at all i just moisturize my hands so i'm not very good at grabbing onto things um yeah i'll try and go through it fairly quickly just because otherwise we will be here for hours okay so starting with the two by twos all of these are double-sided but it's usually like one side has more of an image and the other one has more of a pattern on those little gift wrapped gifts are very cute oh i love that side lancetia with a doily that star it's very cute. I do like sometimes in these cards you find things that you go, oh, I wish this was on the papers. Like, I love that little log. Oh, it's very cute. Holly Jolly Christmas. Hello, Santa. Dear. That barn. Again. There we go. Then we have the three by fours here. Again, all very much the same sort of thing. Deck the halls. You've got an angel. Oh, I do love that colour. Um, so, yes, I just, I love me three, well, not just three by four cards. I just love Project Life style cards. I don't know what it is about them, even though I don't actually do Project Life or anything like that sort of memory keeping using the pockets, as it were, myself. I just, I have a thing about them. Four by four here. Yeah, as I was saying, I just have a thing about them. Obviously, I just kind of use them as journaling cards, journaling spots bots um i don't use them very often in scrapbooking more in journaling but i do occasionally use them like as photo backings or as i said journaling spots or anything like that finally the four by six here season's greetings i do like these four by sixes that i think is my favorite so far i just love that very bright little journaling spot there home for the holidays joyful that was my phone apologies and another favorite there like just all the ripped layers of paper oh i love it and then going into these smaller bags which has the embellishments and such i will of course keep these for junk journaling purposes so in that bag was the two ephemera packs or bits and pieces packs there is one that is general and one that is floral yay and there is a sticker tablet as well so i'm not going to get the ephemera packs out just because it will take so long but on these ones unlike the snap ones you can see absolutely everything that's in these packs on the back anyway so it gives you an idea there's lots of like sentiments and stuff in there it's very similar to the the sticker sheet the cardstock stickers and then this one is all floral with wreaths and poinsettia and holly and leaves and all wonderful things like that and then the sticker tablet oh i hate doing that initial crack when you open it um it's the same sort of style you get with all their sticker tablets um so there's one here that's just all phrases and stuff this is super cute and i like the font as well then you get these little like um i think they're one and a half or one and a quarter square boxes with various things on and you've got advent numbers in different colors beautiful little images on that one little like tags and frames and not frames little stamp effect ones there some more little phrases and tabs circles with lovely images and stuff on and i think oh no i thought that was the last one some more advent numbers there well they're not advent numbers they're just numbers all the way to the end of december um more phrases i do love lots and lots of phrases it makes me very very happy and oh i do like that sheet a lot with all that wood effect 
writing. Oh, that's lovely. Joyful, Santa, Christmas, Merry, Noel, all of the things. I really like that sticker book. And the last little thing in that final bag is the washi tape set, which I will open up to show you. So first washi tape is the green and red sort of gingham-esque print. Then you've got this one with that lovely snowy blue background colour and then the reindeer and are they reindeer or normal deer? They might be normal deer but eh. Um, and then also the Christmas trees. And lastly this lovely one which has the like the Christmas music in the background with the notes and everything and the poinsettia and the holly. So there we go then that is the Simple Stories Vintage Country Christmas Collection. I just love it it is so beautiful as said at the beginning it was all bought bought from the organized hedgehog so i will link that shop it is generally where i get all my simple story stuff and just before i go to answer a question before i get asked it of am i doing a december daily this year the answer is yes and no um basically so last year i tried doing it for the first time i made myself and i think it was eight by ten album and I did the proper like doing something and like trying to document every day and all that and I started out like the first week to 10 days loving it and then by halfway through week two I just I hated it I don't doing something that is like set is not for me I like too much freedom and something like a December daily December documented December album whatever you want to call it I just I find it too regimented I don't like the pressure of it I don't do well creatively if there's any pressure to do anything so I will be doing some sort of documenting I'm gonna make myself like a Christmassy junk journal and do stuff in there but in no official capacity am I gonna promise like a video every week on what I, how I've documented every day because I don't plan to do that you know nothing as I said official I'm just gonna make myself a Christmassy junk journal and just go for it and see what happens and film things as and when they happen. So as I said, yes and no. But whatever creative things I do do over the hehe <laughs> do do uh, over the Christmassy festive period, whether they be scrapbook layouts or journal pages or whatever, I am obviously gonna use some of this stuff because it's flipping gorgeous and I will film as much as I can for you guys. So yeah, that's just to answer that question because I have been asked it already a few times this year and I just wanted to sort of cover that. Anyways, that's enough from me. I will leave a link to the organized hedgehog uh, shop down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, chat to me down in the comments and I'm going. Thanks again. Bye bye.